it's October 1st, so I'm going to the storage facility to grab our key, and I'm taking this one. Um, he's got his boots on because it's raining. He is a trooper with his boots on. He moves very well with his boots on. <laughs> but um, we're gonna go and grab the key to the storage unit. First, I think I'm gonna grab some breakfast. Still got my opera text here. I think I'm gonna take these with me just in case I have time to study. Okay, friend, you ready to go? I don't think you heard me. You ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> he bounces. Good morning. Well, I guess it's afternoon. Instagram, how are you guys doing? I have been uh, busy, but I figured I want to talk to you guys since I have a few minutes before rehearsal. Oh my gosh, I just realized it's going to cost me $30 to park in this space here next to uh, the conservatory here in Boston. So uh, I figured maybe it would be cheaper to park in the garage rather than take an Uber. But then I got the, um, I, I got the little sign thing and I, it was, it's going to cost me $30 to park here. Now, $30 admittedly is less than I am being paid to be here. So it's still a profit at this point. Um, but I, I don't feel good about it. No, sir. How, how is it okay to charge somebody $30 to put their car here for like four hours? Does that make sense? Like if I were to park in the reason I do it, I'm doing it is because there's street parking that I could find probably. Yes. But if I park there, I can only park there for two hours. So I can risk it and park there for more than two hours, park there for four hours and risk getting a $30 ticket. Then it doesn't work out at all. So, uh, cause you have to like move your car all around the block every two hours because there's a two hour maximum and if they find out sometimes the murky tires sometimes they discover you sometimes they don't you can do the okie doke where you like pay with your app and then you put the quarters it it doesn't it's 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 a game that i don't want to play today anyway aside from that i think we're gonna have fun <laughs> I just got this music like a couple days ago and I, we've been, uh, we haven't had a rehearsal and we're making a recording today. So that's going to be fun. I, um, I'm, I feel good. It's going to be fine. It's easy music. Well, it's, yeah, no, it's easy music. Uh, the orchestra has the hard part. We have the easy part. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to chat with you guys. Oh, moving update. <clears throat> so the builder, the seller of our new condo, they're running behind. So uh, our closing date, which was supposed to be the end of the month, has been moved back maybe a week or two. They're saying the latest, like the 26th of November, which is horrifying, but I think it'll probably just go a week or two later. So we are staying with my um, really good friend for a while in their house, um, a little outside the city. So we're just gonna be like one big happy family for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks. It's gonna be fun because we're gonna be playing a lot of Nintendo Switch and a lot of Super Smash Brothers. All right, so I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second, and uh, I gotta get out of the car. It's raining now. Oh my gosh, I gotta get my umbrella. But uh, let's go and sing some skyscrapers. Woo! <laughs> So that escalated quickly. Um, I, my leg hurts. So I fell down the stairs at Jordan Hall, which was awesome. Um, but because I'm um, older and uh, less coordinated, it, uh, I like twisted something like really bad, like twisted, like probably there was, it was, it's really bad. So I'm supposed to have a video that was supposed to go up Monday, but I'm waiting for approval from the brand. So um, I'm sorry if I don't have a video until tomorrow, but hopefully it'll be up by tomorrow. It's a car cleaning video. Get ready. Very fun. In the meantime, we are icing with a stasher bag because I don't have anything else in my house to like do icing. But you guys, uh, this is not sponsored. They don't know who I am. The stasher, please sponsor me because these things are the bomb and I'm like kind of obsessed with these. Like ever since I've started buying them, I'm like, oh my God, I need like pff, 10, 20 of these puppies. I... They're the best. You got, I mean, it's not sponsored. I wish it was, because I really believe in this product. <laughs> but anyway, I've been sticking that under my, my leg there, because uh, the pain is like on the outside from falling down, because I'm a klutzy mess. 
and um, Clover's been here being a nice nurse for me, although he's not really nursing right now. Um, but instead of like doing things, I'm playing The Sims. Also, since I'm bored as hell, because I can't do anything, because, you know, I have decided to boot up The Sims on the new computer. We got new custom content. Well, we don't have new custom content, but I, I'm starting with a base Sim that I randomized, and I'm gonna make her into my self Sim. I've done my Sim self, like, play through a few times. It's fun every time. I will update you when I uh, get a sim that looks like me or I make it. Actually, do I want to start with this one? I don't know. Should I like randomize one more time? I don't know. None of them are like good starting sims. You know what I mean? Like they, none of these look like me. Well, I mean, that's close, but she's off. She's awfully skinny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I will, uh, I'll update you when I'm done. Okay, you guys. So real talk. So um, sometime during the evening, my right foot started hurting really bad um so now i am sort of um not able to walk without like assistance and i can crawl a little so um, i'm in bed right now i've been crying all evening clover was really lovely and came over and um, my husband's been helping me but if i don't feel better by the morning um i'm gonna go to the hospital which sucks so say a little prayer or do whatever you do uh, send good healing vibes because I don't have time for this. What's up, Clover? <laughs> What's up? Good morning or afternoon. It's afternoon. So I just got back from seeing um, a my regular physician. Um, not actually my regular, like my PCP, but like a, a physician at the same office because just my PCP didn't have an appointment today. Um, and he felt my knee and was like, it's probably nothing serious. So the word, the true word will come from, from the orthopedic appointment I have on Monday where they're probably, I need like an MRI or x-ray or whatever. I do on the knee to determine if anything's serious. But in the meantime, I got myself a nice break. As you can see, look at that puppy. She's serious business. Um, it's got like some fun things on the side. This puppy was $30 from Target. And apparently we can like, I guess it's like a refundable, well, I mean, I can get like some health benefits from buying this because it's a health item. So I'm going to save the receipt, give it to my husband and let him like deal with that stuff. But, um, so here she is, my beautiful Brace. So tonight is my performance with BMOP. I think we're on stage for all of 10 minutes. Very exciting. So, uh, it's actually good because I got this situation. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear, I got a new dress from Amazon. I'll show it to you just for it's performance dresses I got from Amazon. We're gonna walk on stage. We're, we're like gonna approach from the back. We're gonna open a door. We're gonna walk on. We're gonna walk with our music, and then we're gonna be finished in ten minutes. That's the kind of gig I like. So I was telling my husband I haven't ordered performance clothing in, or I haven't purchased performance clothing in like I want to say like ten years. How embarrassing is that? So I went on Amazon. Don't look at my nails. I'm gonna I'm gonna take them off. The, the polish okay anyway uh so i got these two dresses from amazon this one is more friendship but i have to um take off some of the bottom because it's it's long.com um but it, it does fit and it's cute it says medium which i guess in china is small so <laughs> um this is uh the one dress and the dress i'm gonna wear tonight is like this one like super cash just regular like black dress Nothing exciting, just brand new performance clothing. Who am I? I'm buying performance clothing. What, what has happened? Hey guys, so it's Monday morning. I am I was trying to pre record something. I was trying to use OBS, but I don't know how to use OBS. So I'm gonna learn how to use OBS and record that video at a time when it's gonna be less stressful. Um, but I will record another video maybe a little later. But I just wanted to come on and say it's probably gonna be a day in the life with me video right now because I am about to go to the doctor's office to see whether or not my knee is gonna be trouble or not. I'm hoping for not a lot of trouble, but I'm gonna be, I'm going to the orthopedist. So. This is like, sadly, like maybe the sixth time I've been to an orthopedist in my life. Uh, I fall down a lot 
and I have a lot of accidents, so that that should tell you something. Um, Clover and I have been playing in the hallway. He's like, he's tired now, so I, I couldn't walk him, so that's what we did today. That was our walk, so um, hopefully he'll be nice and sleepy, and I'll see him in the camera when I leave, but uh, I'm going to just clean up a little bit and uh, call an Uber. So we're back. They examined me. They said that the x-rays look good. Nothing's broken or anything like that, but... Um, they say that last time, because I did do this to my knee like maybe like 20 years ago, and maybe it was 20 years ago? Probably. No. It was more than 20 years. Maybe like 10, 15 years ago. That I may have like torn my ACL like even like t 10 years ago, um, but, and maybe I'm more susceptible to twisting injuries, um, but that I will recover. I just um, need to grin and bear it, I guess. So he said that I'm, I have a follow-up in six weeks and I have to go to PT, but in the meantime, they gave me a really fun brace to wear underneath this, uh, underneath the jeans, if you can't see it, but um, it's like a compression brace. So it still hurts, but I can definitely walk and I can do whatever. So I figured I would chat with you while I repotted a couple of plants. Oh, I've got that one up there. Well, I've got this. I was propagating this because my polka dot plant, they don't have like a really long lifespan, I don't think, They're, it was kind of spent, so I propagated a few stems, and they are uh, ready to plant, except for one, so I'll go, I guess I'll plant them all except one, I didn't think they would get roots on them, but they did, let me show you. I really just popped them in there, just like, hang out and have some fun, like, enjoy them, because they were blooming and everything, but like, look at all those roots, so I'm just gonna freaking plant them. And we're gonna do the Calathea rattlesnake in a bigger pot, because she She's busting out and I have been delaying. Well, can you see? Yeah, the roots are busting out. Oh, I'm getting soil all over the carpet. She's been busting out. She's growing some like really good leaves. Um, look at the purple bags, gorgeous. But like, I got, this is the plant my, this is the pot my polka dot plant was in. I just kind of chucked it because it was like spent. Um, but I think I'm gonna put that in here. It's gonna look cute, right? Look at that. How cute is that? Like pink, pink, po pink rattlesnake. I don't know, I thought she was kind of cute in there, so I'm gonna stick her in there. It's a little bit bigger than what she's got going on right now. It's like deeper, so I think she'll appreciate it, um, at least for the next few months. After that, we'll see. So we're gonna pot these guys, and we're gonna have a little chat. Espoma is a, a brand I like to use. I'm just gonna add maybe some vermiculite to it. It's already got some perlite. Maybe I'll add some vermiculite and perlite. The vermiculite, it's gonna hold on to a little bit of moisture, so I'm gonna add that to this puppy. Do you guys pot up stuff with vermiculite? It's kind of weird. It like it's like looks like worms. <laughs> on the bottom. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Does not want to come out of here. It does not want to come out. The stems. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. So I guess I'll be a slow soprano at the opera next month. Um, I'm gonna tell the director tonight. Oh, there's a new growth coming right there. I'm gonna tell the director tonight that I, I you know, I'm definitely not um, super handicapped, but I'm a little handicapped. So um, maybe that'll affect her, her, his or her staging. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't want to tear too many of these roots here. So tonight is the meet and greet, which means it's the night where the whole cast comes together. We've only had um, chorus rehearsals, so. The principals are going to be there, um, music director, stage director, costume persons, um, stage people, like whoever's building the set. And um, that's what happens on the first day of like first full company rehearsal. It's pretty laid back and we uh, basically sing through the whole thing and I uh, have a jolly good time um, and just sort of see what, what's, uh, what the hard parts are. Uh-oh, this is going to be kind of off to the side a little bit. I, don't, I want her to be like right in the middle. Well, maybe that's not really possible. Anyway, um, I'm excited because I am singing with a singer who, I think she sings in the Metropolitan Opera Company, which is like opera goals. <laughs> um, but she was, she starred in the first opera I did with this company, it was like one of my first professional jobs, and we had a really stressful scene in which the chorus girls had to dress her. Now, let me, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that we rehearsed this 
dressing and undressing scene dozens of times. And it never was not stressful. Um, and like, I mean, you're like, I was like taking off hose and you know, one person was like putting on a skirt and lifting it over her head and it was a whole thing, right? So like, and it went well for the most part, but one performance, I think it was a matinee, I lifted up her skirt and put it over her head and it was backwards. Wait, was that that person? No, it was a different singer, but still a dressing scene. Um, and it was backwards and I was horrified. And she brilliantly just spun around on stage and we fixed it. Like, if you panic on stage or like something goes wrong, more than likely, it can be fixed. Or like you can act like nothing's really wrong and it's fine. Um, and no one will notice. But I just thought that was like one of the funnier like times on stage where I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? And then like, we all like came together and solved it. Okay, I think, I think she's good. Oh, I think she'll be much happier in there. I think it's cute in the pink. What do you guys think? Is it cute in the pink? I mean, I'm not like a pink girl, okay? I mean, I like I like pink, but like I don't go out of my way to like get pink pots, but I think this is super cu uh, cute. Okay, let's just pull the leaves out. Maybe that'll be that. I don't know. They're in there. They don't look great. They're kind of sad. <laughs> But I think they're fine, they're fine. Whatever happened, I'm not super like concerned about these. I'll just give them a drink of water and they'll be fine. Okay, hello, update from the next day. Um, so today I am wearing my little brace. You guys, it's under here, you guys can't see it. Would oh, you hear that? It's like snaps sometimes when I straighten and bend my knee. But, um, so as I was saying yesterday in my um, Snapchat, no, it wasn't Snapchat, Insta story, um, that it's probably an ACL tear that just went undetected for years and years and years. So they're gonna put semi to PT and hopefully it should be feeling better in a number of weeks. Actually, I took to Advil um, an hour or two ago and it actually feels great right now. So the Advil really helps, which is unusual for me. Usually like pain, I'm just like, whatever, just leave, live with it. But I did take two Advil of the, um, these are the liquid gels, the minis. Um, these work fast and they work great. Not sponsored. <laughs> I wish it was Advil, hit me up. But, um, cause like I'm a lifetime Advil user. Um, but they, they worked really well. So I'm gonna maybe take a few of those a day and, um, when I'm like doing stuff, so I feel much better. I still am stiff and I'm, you know, I'm not like out walking the dog, but I feel much better than I did uh, yesterday and the day before, the day before, the day before. So um, I'm happy about that. I did get behind on everything I haven't been filming, um, but I wanted you guys to know what was going on. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I just felt this little presence behind me. It's like sneaking up. So I'm really excited about Friday's video. It is a plant wall update. And um, I know you guys have been asking for that. And it is in collaboration with a really great brand. And I'm really excited for you guys to see. I just love the brand. And I hope that you guys love the brand too. But I'm just really happy to be working with them. So I'm very excited and I like had a good time making the video and like it just was really zen for me. <laughs> so please be excited. I mean if you don't want to be excited that's fine. Just you know skip it or give it a thumbs down or whatever. Um, but uh, I just wanted to let you know I'm very excited and the opera rehearsal last night went very well. So um, I'm hoping that um, it's going to be an okay month after all. So Life is what happens when you're making other plans. <laughs> but uh, I have had quite the week, but just know, even if you have, if you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, there is light at the end of the tunnel and you can get there. You just have to be patient. And I'm the worst with being patient, especially with injuries, but I know that eventually it's, everything's gonna be okay. So. Uh, that is that. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great morning. Look. Look. <laughs> great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.